what is up everybody it's your girl Juju the master manifester and I am back with another video today I'm going to be doing a reading on gloss up and glorilla they are best friends and well they say they're best friends but it seems like ever since glow got signed like a lot of people have been speculating like maybe they're not friends anymore and they all well I feel like gloss up she always comes online and says like no we're still friends etc etc so I want to know like why has their friendship why does it feel like it's changed is it because Glorilla is a celebrity now and like she signed to a label like is it because the label or is it because of another reason I'm just not sure what to make of it so I'm going to shuffle the music, pay attention to the lyrics and the music. That's going to be a good indication of what Spirit is saying, as well as the energy of the parties involved. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get into the video. The first question I want to ask is, are they still best friends? Um, and then based on that, we will proceed with the questions that I feel are most appropriate. I haven't written anything down, but this is just on the top of my head to do this reading. I've actually already shuffled the cards, so I don't even have to do this again, but. Okay, I'm gonna be starting with the tarot first. So I'm gonna be seeing, are they still best friends? If y'all want me to do a part two on this reading, just comment below and let me know what your questions are. Alright. Are Gloss Up and Glorilla still best friends? Yes or no? Whoa. That came fast. Yes. So they are still best friends. Okay, it says planning, progress, making decisions, discovery, leaving home, and travel plans. So, they are still best friends. It says duality, togetherness, a settling of energy, union, love, and balance. I think that they have to find balance because now with Glorilla being signed, I think her label wants her to work with bigger artists. Yeah, that's what I'm hearing. I think that her label wants her to work with bigger artists, and that's why you see bigger artists all over her platform. I just would have thought when she got signed, like, she would have been able to work with, like, the people that she started rapping with, which she still does do music with K-Carbon. But let me see. Why is it that Glorilla doesn't really post her best friend like that anymore? But the song says this love is a sure thing, so I don't think Gloss Up is going anywhere. All right, so we got the Queen of Swords reverse why she doesn't post her as much is says overly emotional easily influenced bitchy cold-hearted cruel and bitterness this is a water and air sign card so this is virgo and libra so y'all have to let me know what their signs are but this is the card the queen of swords it's in the reverse so i believe that this is talking about gloss and it's so crazy because before i even started this reading Something in me said, it's probably because Gloss Up, it seems like she's always going live about something. And this is not a bad thing because I know like, you know, a lot of people interact with her online. She goes live and, you know, talks to her fans and stuff like that. But to me, it kind of feels like if you're trying to be a serious artist, you want to focus on the music. And also, you don't want, you don't want people to know so much about your personal life in that way. So I do think that maybe she's overshared certain things and her brand itself doesn't match with Glorilla's brand, but they are still friends. So let me see. What is it about Gloss Up that the label does not like about her brand? What doesn't the label like about her brand? Mad hoes. Hmm. I do feel like Okay, I'm going to say it like this. I feel like they think that she's still working on her brand. It's not as polished as Glorilla's brand. Like, Glorilla is working with, like, um, what do they call it when they, people that, like, maybe, like, PR, they're getting you ready for interviews and, like, you're working with somebody who, like, prepares you for, like, everything. 
Um, and I think that gloss up, she has to like start investing more in her. Well, she's investing in her image. I can't say that, but she has to invest more in her branding. She has to stop sh oversharing because I think with her sharing so much, it kind of makes it like, because if you think about Glorilla and, and like how she kind of blew up, all of them blew up. They were like hood, you know, they were showing like just them on a day-to-day -day basis you know just ghetto vibes like not calling them ghetto but that's kind of what they were selling um so if you look at glorilla's story she's like a a success story like she made it out the hood kind of story so now she's i hate to say it, but glorilla is changing but like not a bad way of changing so i think that now that she's leveling up it's more of like, okay, gloss up. You have to match my energy. Like, let me see. Like, do they have private conversations like about certain things? Like when they talk about like the music and they talk about like the label and stuff like that, what is it that they're talking about? What comes up? What comes up for gloss up and Glorilla when they're talking? Cause like, it's hard not to talk about success. Obviously one friend is in one level and another friend is on another level. All right. So we got good luck boundaries well-being so i think that they do talk to each other about just still having balance like between being a mother like still like i think they talk about day-to-day -day stuff of like when they're traveling like when gloss has her kids when she doesn't like they're they're always talking like they're always wishing each other well good luck you got a show good luck sis that kind of energy and then you got boundaries so i think that no matter how much they love each other they still set bound well i would say glorilla she has to set boundaries because of the label but i think this will be glow's decision either way i think that she doesn't want her success to be defined by anybody around her um and the reason that the label is choosing to work with bigger artists is because it's making her bigger and bigger and bigger once she's bigger and where she's at that's what she's she feels like she's the one that is leveling them up but they also have to level up too not just like outside but also mindset money the way they're spending money the way that they're living life like she's the one that's like i'm building this for us so once i'm at that top i can bring y'all with me but i can't let y'all drag me down either and that's kind of powerful like i'm not saying i agree with it but I can understand where she's coming from. Like she feel like she's still not as big as she want to be. So that's why her label has her working with artists that's way bigger than her. Okay, so what is Glorilla's? How does Glorilla feel? And I'm gonna be a little messy. Not not technically, but yeah. How does Glorilla feel about gloss ups? Um, where she's at currently within her career. Compassion, clarity, passion, clarity. All right, compassion, clarity, prosperity. I think that she feels she's on the right track. We got prosperity. This is how she feels about where Gloss Up is currently in her journey. You got compassion. And we got clarity. So I do think that Glorilla feels like Gloss Up knows what she needs to do to be better and become better. But I think that Sometimes things are getting in the way of her being the best version of herself. You got travel on the bottom. So what is it that, that Glorilla thinks that Gloss Up can improve? Because I think she feels like she knows what she needs to do to become better because I talk to her all the time. She sees me. She knows what I'm doing. But sometimes it can be hard because sometimes people feel like, well, I shouldn't have to work this hard. Like I have a friend now that's successful. So like you should be like helping us get bigger but from Glo glorilla's perspective it's kind of like well i'm still not where i want to be so i can't put y'all on in that kind of way like people already know what we all can do but i don't want to be a reflection of somebody else's music i want to be a reflection of my own music you know so I, I can understand that i can understand that for sure for glow okay so what does glow feel that um gloss up needs to do to improve Okay, we got the Ten of Wands reverse, doing it all, carrying the burden, delegation, release, overstressed, and burnout. 
So she feels like she has to find help with her kids. Like she, because she's not really able to like spread her wings and fly. She has to like a lot of the time come back home because like she's the primary person for her kids and it's just hard. Like it's a lot of struggles that she's currently facing. So I do feel like Glorilla is kind of like telling her like I'll help you, you know, stuff like that. But as a mom, I think Glorilla, um, Gloss Up is having a hard time like doing that, like not being the one to do things, to do the stuff for her kids. But like if you if you want to be a star, like you do have to receive help you know so i think that's where she's at with it it says this is a sagittarius card fire sign ultimate completion final manifestation results of true will recognition recognition i'm sorry continuation realization and endings so this is a person that's just working so hard like look at this she's just like working so hard and so it's kind of hard for glorilla to I even think about it leveling her up because okay if I level you up like on my level you're never going to be home because Glorilla's never home so it's kind of like you're never going to be there for your kids and that's ultimately what you want so I think that Gloss Up has to make a decision that's going to be the best decision for her and her children she might need to find like a nanny to come on the road with her or like maybe find like a full-time nanny or some something some type of long-term solution for her kids because i did see where she said like she doesn't have help like with her mom like her mom don't watch her kids or something like that she was saying don't quote me and also this is all alleged of course for entertainment purposes only this is just my own opinion on the situation i don't think anybody's done a reading on this not that that would stop me but i just don't think i've seen anybody do a reading on this specifically so we know that they're still friends we know that um they still support each other um how does Gloss Up feel about Glorilla's success? Let's ask about that. How does Gloss feel about Glorilla's success? Okay, so we got the Three of Cups reversed. Overindulgence, heavy partying, isolation, independence, alone time. Three's a crowd, gossip. It says trip, triplicity, expression, expansion of the idea, growth, first stages of completion. Water sign. Okay, so I'm kind of picking up with this card and that last card that we got here. This is this that final stage of completion. So I feel like Gloss is on her final stage before she can succeed making that decision like about her kids because that's what's stopping her from like going big, okay? And I'm not saying her kids are in the way of her success, but she has to ha she doesn't have the help that most people would have that have kids. So now she's realizing, damn, I shouldn't have had all these damn kids. Not saying kids aren't a blessing. But if you want to be an artist, it's kind of hard to move freely like Glow because Glow doesn't, doesn't have kids. And that's exactly why she and it makes sense now because in her interview, she's been saying like she see her friends with kids like they can't just move how they want to move. So that's why Glorilla is always saying like she don't want no kids. So like she'd be a surrogate. I was hollering y'all when I watched the interview. But yeah, like this makes sense. So it says final stages of completion. And then here we got first stage of completion. So this shows that Glorilla is on a new, she's on a new wavelength. She's in a whole new arena because she's like back at square one. And we obviously know this is past where her and her peers are. She is elevated like to like low key. She's really a celebrity now, not even low key, high key. She's a celebrity now. So what this is showing me, Gloss Up feels like Glorilla, she's kind of comparing her life and Glorilla's life. And also like that's showing her like okay if this is what you if if you give up and she feel looking at it like if i give up my kids but it's really not giving up your kids but if you give up having your kids full-time like being a full-time mom full-time parent if you give that up you will have some more stability but there will be more partying you'll be isolated from your kids um because like she's not looking at this and judging glow she's looking at this and saying okay well this is what i want so i'm i have the perfect example like my best friend is that perfect example for me and she's showing me like okay if i do make this decision and choose to go down that road 
this is what my life will look like. Is that what I want? So she's kind of questioning everything. Do I want to be an artist? Or would I, should I choose something else where I can still be in the limelight? I can still make my music, but I'm not necessarily like a big artist. So I think that's where she's currently at of like trying to choose the best decision because her kids are so important to her that she never wants her kids to like, all they remember her for is like, oh yeah, my mom's a celebrity. I remember her when I was a kid, but I don't remember her as I was growing up because she was never around. She doesn't want that for her kids. And you cannot, I can't fault her for that. I think that that makes a great mother. You're choosing your kids over your success. It says a lot. So she does feel like with gloss with um, Glorilla's life, she she feels like Glorilla parties a lot. She's isolated a lot from her family. Uh, she's by herself. Like it's because it says independence and alone time. So she spends a lot of time alone. It says three's a crowd. So it's usually just her and her dancers, which just makes sense because see the three. It's usually always Glorilla and her other two friends. That's always been her dancers. So it's usually just them together when they're on the road. And then it says gossip. So it's always something going on. It's always some drama because you're around bigger celebrities. And then they're discussing like, I think that Glorilla and gossip, they do talk about like, oh, this person weird. This person did this. This person did that. I think that they share those type of intimate details with each other. <sighs> Sorry, I'm trying to wipe these ashes off. But they do share the details about, you know, who's weird, like who not to be around. Like, I think they still share things with each other that's very, like, intimate that you wouldn't really know if you're not friends. So they're definitely still close. But it's just more of like they're at two different points in their life. And it, this makes me, this helps me understand so much more of like their dynamic now because it's like before Glorilla was famous, that's all you saw is like her and her friend and her and all her friends. But now you see, if you go on her page, you see her. You see her with like bigger celebrities. Yes, you see her with her friends and stuff like that, but you really don't see Gloss that much. So no, there's no animosity or anything like that. Let me see, does Glorilla have any animosity or anything? towards gloss up does Glorilla have any animosity my actions speak louder than my words does Glorilla have any animosity towards gloss up it says falling off so I think that she feels like all she can do is lead by example she can't judge her but like from just observing, she does feel like she's at a place where her world is upside down. She feels like that momentum that she once had, like when they both were blowing up, she feel like that's, and I'm being honest with y'all, she feels like that's when she should have made the decision. Like right when Glow was about to blow up. Because I feel like she prolonged it and she waited too long to make a decision. And now her buzz has died down. And this is kind of why Glorilla don't even want to have her friend on her page because people are always going to be comparing their success. Because if you think about it, like, that's the one she was closest to out of all the other girls. So with her making songs with K-Carbon and stuff like that, I'm not sure she posts K-Carbon on her page or anything like that, but, like, we obviously know they're all cool. So I just think that Glorilla feels like gloss up. She waited too long. She didn't seize her moment. That's what that's what it is. She didn't seize her moment like she should have. And she should have used that buzz and all that attention that they was getting back when Glorilla like they had some show, I feel like, where they were all performing and stuff like that. But that's when like I think maybe it was certain situations where maybe gloss up couldn't come or she couldn't show up because her kids so no it's not any animosity it's just more of like i'm standing on what i said like i don't want kids and it's because of x y and z like i'm working like i'm trying to grind like it's different when you're a huge artist like maybe like cardi b where you're already successful I'm not saying she was already like super big how she is but she was like on tv and stuff so she had you know probably support when well did she have kids at the time i don't think she had kids at the time but like it's different when you're already a big artist so you can have have certain arrangements to have maybe a nanny on the road and stuff like that but i don't think that she is living a lifestyle of an artist i think she's still living the same lifestyle from three years ago 
This is alleged, of course. I just think her and Glorilla are living two different lives right now. And it's just, it's a lot. But I do think that they are still friends. I don't think that they're no longer friends. But obviously, you know, when life happens, you know, you might not talk to your friends as much. But a real friend is going to still stay in your corner no matter what. Like, it shouldn't matter. Like, it depends on the relationship. But like a lot of my close friends, like we don't have to talk every day like we don't have to talk every day but anytime we talk it's you know we talk for hours we're gonna like catch up and stuff like that but like it's no animosity you know what i'm saying so i don't feel any animosity from either one of these ladies i feel like they wish each other nothing but success they're trying to you know figure out ways where they can all be successful and i feel like Lorilla, she's have, carrying a lot of weight on her shoulders um she was the one that made it and i feel like in her situation like she wants to bring other people along but she also wants to get bigger like way bigger she wants grammy she wants awards she wants all of that before she just start i think that somebody taught her this growing up like or somebody famous shared something with her and was just like maybe it was yogati maybe it was yogati because i'm thinking like it's somebody really wise and somebody really successful so it's probably yogati because that's like a mentor to her that's who signed her so i feel like he probably said something to her along the lines of like don't let your friends and family hold you back or stop you from being successful like because you're still living in two different worlds now you got to focus on the reality that you're in right now so you can keep this up and be great. Be somebody that's been in the game for 50 years. You know, be somebody that's like, you know, a voice for a certain generation. You know, like how we have the greats now. Like, that's where she wants to be. Like, she, Glorilla has like a drive about her that I feel like she doesn't want to just be somebody that was once famous. That would be more embarrassing for her. So I feel like she doesn't take too much time to be sad about her circumstances. She don't sit up like how maybe Gloss Up would because she has kids. She sit, she would be on shows and stuff but missing her kids and being sad and like questioning is this for her? Glorilla, she can't even afford to be like, oh, I miss home. Oh, I miss this person. Oh, I miss that person because then she wouldn't be where she is today. That's where the isolation and everything was coming up. So that is how glorilla feels that's how gloss up feels they are still friends i think they will remain friends um no matter what but as far as like publicly we we obviously know like what you see on social media is not real life just because a person isn't on their page doesn't mean that they're not cool um i hope that they can still maintain their friendship through these life changes but obviously you know it's ultimately up to them every single day like depending on the decisions that they make that could shape how this goes you know this is me reading on this at in the current current energy like today this is november 2024 so things could change depending on other factors you know like things can change so i might do a reading on the situation but they can make other decisions that could change the course of this this energy that they're currently in but yes, you guys, if anybody's interested in booking a personal reading or joining my mentorship, I have my links down below in the description box. Please be sure you like, comment, and subscribe. It helps the channel out so much. I appreciate you guys for watching. Thank you so much. This is Juju the Master Manifester, and I am out.